Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up C++ with Visual Studio Code. All right, so for the first step, you want to download a code editor. So we are going to download Visual Studio Code. And to do so, just go to code.visualstudio.com. Make sure it's the blue one, not the purple one. And over here, just click download. So I am using Windows, so it says download for Windows. But for you, if you're using Mac, it will say download for Mac. So just click download and you will see this download page. So your download should be processing. Do not exit this page because we will be using this for installing a C++ compiler. So once you finish downloading the installer for Visual Studio Code, open that up, accept the agreement, click next, create a desktop icon. So you want to check this click next, and then just click install. All right, so after you finish installing Visual Studio Code, let's install a C++ compiler. So on the left hand side, you'll see overview, setup, get started. So just scroll down to where it says C++, click on this, and click on the one for your operating system. In my case, I am using Windows, so we are going to follow the instructions for installing GCC on Windows. All right, so now we have this page and we have prerequisites and one of them is install Visual Studio Code. So we have that done and there's an extension we need to install, but we'll do that later. So first we want to install the MinGW toolchain. So to do so, we will install msys2 and you can just click on this direct link to an installer. All right, after you've finished downloading the installer, open it, click next, click next again, click next again and then it will install msys2. All right, so after that is done installing, click finish. And this will open up the msys2 shell. And if you've accidentally closed it, just go to search and look for msys2. Okay, all right, so now what you want to do is go to this step four and just copy and paste this line. And in msys2, right click and paste and hit enter. So it says enter a selection, just hit enter and then type Y. So yes, proceed with installation. All right, so after the installation has completed, exit the window. And for the final step, what we need to do is add MGW to the Windows path environment variable. So go to your search bar and type in environment variables and you want to click on edit the system environment variables. So click on environment variables and then in user variables. So this top one over here, click on path and then click edit. And we want to copy and paste this path. So click on new, paste it in, hit enter and then click OK. Now, if for some reason you do not have this path variable, you can just click on new and type in path as the variable name. And for the variable value, you can just paste in that path for MinGW and then click OK. All right, so once you've added that to your environment variables, just click OK and then click OK. All right, so the moment of truth, we need to check our MinGW installation. So search, look for a command prompt, open that up, type in GCC dash dash version. And as you can see, we have our compiler installed. And let's also do G++ dash dash version and GDB dash dash version. All right, so it seems like we have everything properly installed. So close this window. All right, so now what you want to do is open up your Visual Studio Code. And the first thing you need to do is click on this icon. And we need to install an extension so type in C++ and click on this one. So you want to install this C slash C++ extension pack. So this will provide all the tools you need for writing C++ code in Visual Studio Code. So click install. All right, so after you finish installing the extension pack, close this and then click on this file icon. Let's create a C++ file. So click file, new text file. And here in Visual Studio Code, we have an option to select a language. So click on that and click on C++ and then let's save this file. 
So you can save anywhere. I'm going to save it on my desktop. So let's name this file test. And as you can see over here, it will save the file as a C++ file. So click save. And we have our first C++ file here. And if you don't see that option for selecting a language, just click file, new text file again, and just click control save. And over here, just type test.cpp. So we are going to add an extension to signify that this is a C++ file. So the extension for that is cpp. So click save. And here we have our test.c++. So I'm going to quickly add some starter code. All right, so I have my starter code. And if this is your first time writing C++ code, I have a playlist teaching C++ on my channel, and I'm going to have more videos on C++ in the future. So I will link that in the video description. But basically what it does is if I run this program, it will just print hello world. So to run the program, we have this play button over here. So in this dropdown, you can just click run C slash C++ file, and then just click on the first one. And if this is your first time running C++ on Visual Studio Code, you might see this stuff over here. You can ignore it, so just exit out and just run it again. And as you can see, we see hello world. And I can also change this to hello Kenny and then click save and run it again. So we're compiling and now we're running the code and you can see it says hello Kenny. All right, so that's how you can set up C++ with Visual Studio Code. And if you found this tutorial helpful and it worked for you, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials. All right, so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.